So you want to get into photography as a hobby, but where do you start? This video is for you. Hey everyone, my name is Kwame and if you're new here, this is a channel where I like to talk about photography, talk about photography gear and just general photo photography philosophy. That is a mouthful. So today I want to talk about getting into photography as a hobby. And at this time of the year, people have the time off. This is towards the end of 2022 going into 2023. A lot of people have this like, oh, I want to do something new. I got a bunch of gift card money. Maybe I should get a, like a camera and like start getting into photography. So today I want to give you some tips on how to get started in photography as a hobby. Number one, do not, <laughs> do not buy a bunch of gear you're not going to use. Start simple. If you have a smartphone, doesn't matter what smartphone you have, start there. Go out in the world with your smartphone and deliberately look for pictures, right? It's way easier to get started with something that you have than to go out and buy new gear for a hobby that you may not even like. I have a friend, I'm not going to put her on blast, but a few years ago she got into photography, bought a bunch of gear, camera, a bunch of lenses, and I checked up with her like six months later. I'm like, hey, how's it going? Like, how's everything going with photography? She's like, ah, I kind of just stopped doing it. And I felt bad for her because I told her like, here, here's some gear you should get. And she bought it and now she's not even using it. So I now recommend people start with what you have. If you have a phone, smartphone, doesn't matter what smartphone, go out and take some pictures. The reason why I say to use your phone is because you want to get good at the basics, right? Get good at just seeing pictures, seeing what's out there around you. Having your phone and when you're in like photo mode, like when you're in photography mode, you're going to see the world differently than when you're just on your daily commute, going to and from work, going to the grocery store, whatever. But if you have your phone with you, even if you're doing the same walk that you normally walk to uh, to get to work from your bus stop, right? If you have your phone with out and you have your camera open, you're going to see the world a lot differently than you will if you just have earbuds in and you're just walking around. So tip number one, do not buy any new gear, but use what you have. Hopefully it's a cell phone. And again, it doesn't matter what phone it is, just any smartphone will do. Number two, get a point and shoot camera. Okay, so you've used your phone for a couple months and you're like, hey, call me, this is great. I like this, I'm really into it now. I really wanna get a camera. Before you buy a mirrorless camera or any kind of um, Olympus, Sony, Panasonic, whatever, right? I highly recommend getting a point and shoot camera. Yeah, a point and shoot camera. And so here's the reason why. One, they're small and can go anywhere with you, right? You can throw those in your pocket, you can throw them in your bag, and you know you will have a dedicated camera. It's nice having our phones with us and our phones can take amazing pictures, like really good pictures. Better pictures probably than a point and shoot camera sometimes, but with a dedicated camera, when you're out and about taking pictures, you're not gonna get distractions. You're not gonna get Twitter or any other social media notifications. You're just in the zone taking pictures. And you're gonna get better at framing your composition. You're gonna get better at uh, learning the different modes, right? You're gonna learn about priority mode, aperture priority mode, P mode, and you're gonna get your phone out of automatic, which a lot of people do. Like you're using flash in the middle of the day. You're not gonna do that because you're gonna be exp exploring and playing with your camera. And again, your camera is everywhere with you. But the real secret to getting a point and shoot camera is the zoom. With a, a, a a point and shoot camera that can zoom in and zoom zoom out. What you're gonna learn is what type of focal length you like to shoot at. So it's really easy to think, oh, I just wanna get the biggest zoom lens and try to get as close as possible. But what if you're a wide angle shooter? What if you're a mid range shooter? What if you, you see telephotically? Like you see the details and things. So maybe you're a macro shooter. So those are what you're gonna learn by having a point and shoot camera. Now I know it's controversial. I know people will say, uh, start with like a cheaper DSLR, you can buy lenses, all that stuff. But again, we're going back to step one. You don't wanna to spend too much money on something that you may not do in like six months to a year, right? I would hesitate on investing too much money on um, gear up front. So this is why I say number two, get a point and shoot camera with a zoom lens. And then you'll really dial in and figure out what focal length you like to see. And then my third tip is take your camera with you everywhere you go. Like if you really want to get better at taking pictures, it doesn't matter what camera you have, point and shoot, your phone, a, a fancy mirrorless camera. 
if you don't take it with you, you're never going to take pictures. Like photography shouldn't just be for like the special times. Like, oh, we're going on a big vacation. Let me bring like my camera, a camera that I've never used maybe once or twice, three months ago. Now the pictures I'm trying to take are going to be terrible and I'm going to get frustrated because I spent all this money on a camera that I can't use. Right. But if you bring your camera with you every day, like that's why I said the point and shoot camera should be with you or your phone. You bring it with you every day. You're taking pictures and you're even if you're trying to do like one of these uh, 365 challenges where you're just trying to take a picture every day, it doesn't have to be a great picture. But if you're trying to take a picture every day, you're going to get better faster uh, because you're just doing like you're just doing the work. You're putting in the hours. And that's really the big thing. If you just want to get good at photography, you just got to take a bunch of pictures. A lot of them are going to not be good. You're going to have a lot of pictures of like the same tree when you're in burst mode and you're trying to like figure out what you're doing. That's okay. It's part of the process. But have your camera with you every day and you're going to get better at photography. So to recap, my three tips are start with what you have, probably a phone. Uh, start your next piece of gear should be something small and pocketable, like a point shoot camera. That way you can take it with you everywhere you go. And number three, carry your camera with you everywhere you go. Right. That's the I think that's the biggest thing is if you get a camera, carry it with you everywhere you go. If you're going to work, carry it with you. If you're going to the gym, carry it with you. If you're going to the grocery store, carry it with you. You never know when you're going to see something that's going to catch your eye. And when you have your camera, and it could be your phone, but if you have your camera with you, you're going to take that picture and you're just going to get better over time. I would love to hear what other recommendations you all have. Or if you are new and you're getting into photography and you're like stuck trying to figure out where to start, leave a comment down below. I will happily respond to you. I think photography for me is very therapeutic. I love taking pictures. I've been doing this for uh, well over a decade now and I've done it professionally. I've done it, uh, you know, for myself and it's it's a joy to me this is like golf right you're there's no you're not trying to compete against other people yeah you may like join a, a competition every now and again but it's really about capturing the moment and finding for me that perfect picture and that's the the hunt that i'm constantly on is that perfect image john coltrane where he was trying to find the perfect note and that's what drove him to make great music for me to take keep taking pictures i'm always trying to find the perfect picture. Thank you as always for watching this video. If you're new here, please hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help me out. And if you want to learn more about photography and get better at becoming a photographer, and you, again, this is a hobby of yours, I highly recommend you joining the channel, joining the chat. I would love to hear from you guys. I do a, uh, a weekly live show on Friday, so I will leave a link down there. So if you want to check out uh, this coming up Friday's uh, weekly show. That would be awesome. I'm going to be uploading a lot more in 2023 and I have some really cool stuff that I want to share with you all. So uh, I look forward to that. Thank you all as always for watching this video. I will see you next one. Go pet a dog. Bye bye.